Welcome to my channel. I've been asked to react to an army recruitment ad and uh, <laughs> the the video actually I think it was intended to contrast China and Russia's army recruitment ads with the United States recruitment ad but the link that I was given cues it up to the uh, army, the U.S. Army recruitment ad. So that's what I'm going to react to. Uh, <clears throat> this is kind of an interesting request, but we'll see. But anyway, uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. I really enjoy interacting you with in, in with you in the comments. And thank you for subscribing and, and for the growth of my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So this is the ad that I've been asked to, re to react to. That's the end of the Russian one. Okay, I should say a couple things here. First of all, uh, when I first, I watched this the other day in preparation for reacting to it with you because it was so unusual a request, I didn't want to just go in blind. And when I watched this, I thought to myself, is this real or is this fake? So I did some research and I discovered this actually is a real army recruiting ad. And uh, it, it just, I think it's the first one I've ever seen where they're using, uh, I guess you call this anime or cartoons, not real characters. It's unusual. That's for sure. Okay. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems. It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. Doctors said she might never walk again, but she tapped into my family's pride to get back on her feet. Eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom, with such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class and then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong women. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life, a sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women, but what had I really achieved on my own? One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy Another was climbing Mount Everest. I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. <laughs> okay. I think the reason I was asked to react to this was be is because I was in the military and um, you want to know my thoughts on this particular ad. I can tell you that it would not attract me to join the military um, and I don't really understand what this has to do with the military. So. 
Uh, but now we have a human being on the screen. Let's see what she has to say. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my calling. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. The information that I read about this said that it was aimed at a younger audience. And I don't know, you know, maybe it will work for a younger audience, but uh, the, a large majority, well, not maybe not majority, but a large number of people that joined the military in the United States historically have been from the Southern states uh, and from uh, places outside the urban areas. And those types of people are not people I think that would be attracted to join based on this ad. So uh, maybe it's aimed at inner city kids. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea how effective this would be. I guess the results will tell, but I know that the, all of the military forces are in the United States are suffering, um, recruiting drastic rec recruiting shortfalls and of course they have all sorts of explanations for that but i think the explanation that makes the most sense to me as having served in the military is that the military system all the forces the navy the marines the army the air force the coast guard they've all gone woke and so they're more focused on race differential than they are on accomplishing a mission and that's not what uh that's not what i joined the military for that's you know i joined the military because i wanted to see the world of course i didn't get to i ended up on shore base duty for six years but that was the reason i joined was to see the world that's why i joined the navy because i thought i'm going to sail around the world and get to see all sorts of exciting things and you know, when people join the military, I think they do it for reasons of idealism. And if they end up in combat, that idealism gets smacked out of them real fast. When the bullets start flying and when people around you start dying, all that idealism is gone and you're in survival mode. So... I worry about the status of our current forces because if we get into another conflict, which seems like it's almost inevitable with the leadership that we have, <clears throat> a lot of young people are going to be dying because they haven't been trained to fight. They've been trained to, to uh, be sensitive towards other people's feelings, to be concerned about the skin color that they have, and saying the right words and not actually doing military action and if you're in the military you have one main purpose and that's to destroy the enemy and and the military as a group as a whole in the united states seems to have completely lost that focus so all that will mean is when the inevitable happens and we get into another conflict a lot of men and women in our military are going to die a lot a lot more than should and that saddens me but it is what it is that's the reality of today's life I guess I'm glad I'm not in the military anymore I know a lot of people that would agree with that for you my viewers I pray that you will live an abundant life that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will let your requests be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, out.